Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day or night to stop in and visit and check out my video. And we're here in LFM. Yeah, beautiful skyline there. Um, a night race, of course, here at Kailani. Didn't qualify so hot, but you know these guys are just fast. I mean, my time was actually okay for me, but you know these guys are just really quick. Um, ran like a personal best in the Porsche for the Porsche. I mean, I'm not sure if it's my all-time personal best, but uh, I'm in the middle of the field, so qualified like 16th. <laughs> so there's 33 cars, so I'm dead in the center. So it's survival time. Um, it's the 45-minute race with the pit stop. And of course, this is the multiplier with the e ELO. So we need to try to just survive. I got to keep getting in my head just to be, watch the aggression. Green light. Go, go, go. There's going to be carnage, especially up here. Four seconds damage. Good grief. I didn't even. <laughs> wow. Four seconds. I didn't only feel I didn't really feel anything. Something went straight. I don't know what that was about. Get that fixed. Car on the left. Clear on the left. More carnage. Driving like absolute crazy people. Got all the Porsches. I mean, a tire steam get near up the temperature because I'm going so off the tripping over each other.
thing. Right, off balance because the tires and everything else. Time for me with the damage. Top 10, so that's good. Consistent.
Yeah, I mean, it's running definitely a lot better than what I have in the past. Made some gains on the setup. Tires are still way off. Fronts, the rears aren't too bad, but the fronts are way off. that dirt every time. <laughs> Mess that up. Mess that up. Porsches in a row, we all got jammed up together. Mixing it up. Second faster. He 
These guys are all tripping over each other up here. Raise them up just a little. Rears, I think I'm gonna leave alone. I can hear it. Slipping. Need to come in next time.
raise them up. Put in my fuel. Whew. It's gonna cost me probably a few positions, but I'm afraid if I get one wreck or one hit or something, I'm gonna be out. Mandatory stop is not clear. Come on, let's go. back up. there. I'm way behind. Looks like, anyway. in the dirt.
time for me. It's like what I qualified at. Timing's off. That was close. That was too close. Back to 11th. Let's go.
my bad personal best. Gaining on the car ahead in sector two. Well done, mate. Personal best. better than that. I think this Honda's gonna start struggling. I think he pitted early. Messing me up. Hard to get around them.
judged it. What the heck? Wow. Oh, what? That's weird. Because I just mess I got my timing all screwed up. My fault though, it's just not the car, it's just me. as hard as I can. Get back on the horse here. right when I was going through that corner. I got his wheel in the dirt again.
Dang it. Let me by, thank you. Without fighting. One more. Get around him. Windshield wipers from eyeballs. I finished eighth, I think, so that was that's good. Um, man, yeah, I mean, I think I finished eighth, so I'm really happy with that. Especially for you know a lot of mess ups, and I had to work harder just to catch back up. I should have got the Honda, but that was you know if I wouldn't have messed up and lost all that time, you know who knows what could have happened. But you know. That's my fault, so. But at least I got back up to 8th place. I mean, that's, you know, starting from, what, 15th or 16th. So, that's moving up a good amount. Um, so, I'm really happy with that. And, uh, you know, you got to take what you can get and, you know, not throw it away. And that's the main thing is just keep moving up, moving up. Um, 
But, of course, we'll go to LFM, and we'll come back here. I might make a few little tweaks on the setup, plus I want to check the, check the uh, data. Um, I wish I just had a little bit more front end. I mean, I just don't have enough front end um, grip. So uh, there's a couple things I might try to see if I can increase that because it just seemed like it just didn't. A uh, couple places, that hairpin where I was losing some time, it, the front end just wasn't gripping like I wanted it to. But it definitely made a huge jump because, you know, I probably gained a half a second in my lap time, my personal best lap time on the Porsche here. So definitely good improvement. But I just need to tweak on this a little bit. So, we'll, of course, we'll, uh, like I said, go to LFM and then go and check out the setup. All righty, well, we're back here at LFM's homepage and uh, see what the results are. So, I was in split two. So, you see split one, they're even, even tougher. Um, anybody I recognize? Uh, no? Don't recognize anybody in there. But, I mean, they're all fast, so <laughs> they're all really fast. Golly, they're even, now they're breaking even into the high 39s. That's uh, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know. That is just insane, insane times. But uh, yeah, everybody just keeps getting faster and faster. But um, they're split two, and there I am in eighth place. So I mean, I'm happy with that. I um, wish I could have got seventh for the, you know, always wanted to get that one more, but um, see my fast lap was a 141.32. And like I said, that's about not, not a half a second. I, that's like four tenths faster than my fastest uh, lap. And that's actually was faster than my qualifying lap. Uh, my qualifying was a 41.5. So um, real happy with that. Um, you know, these guys are all doing really good. You're all fast laps, low 41s. So not too far off there. I mean, I'm only, you know, two, three tenths, nothing major. You know, it's, that's that's bad enough, but it's close. that's not real bad. But still, always need to find more. Um, but at least I could f fight in the top. So, um, you know, I, again, I would have qualified better. I probably would have had a better chance, but just the way it goes. But I had seven incident points. Uh, safety rating was a, uh, went up 0.19, and my ELO went up 78. So now I'm up to a safety rating of 7.84, and um, my ELO is 1886. So without a doubt, that the highest, I'm pretty sure the highest I've ever had it at. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, you can see right here, it's, it's higher than I've had ever. So again, I kind of went down there again, dropped a little bit. And then I'm going back up. You know, I don't mind a little drop. You know, you're going to have those. You're going to have a little stutter. But as long as you're not doing these, you're heading to the basement, um, free falling. That's what I don't want. So that that's bad enough. You know, a little one like this is is better. <laughs> the little the little drop. But I mean, again, you know, I'm going up. So that's you know the the main thing. Um, and that's the say to see what the safety rating is the same thing uh, a little more consistent with the safety rating had a little drop there but again it's going up so i'm hoping i can get to my goal of over 2000 um that's what i would like to get and that would pretty much guarantee you know not guarantee but a good chance i would be in the number one split at least probably 50 percent of the time so again you know that's what i'm trying to do is just keep it here. At least I was in the second split, and that's I don't want to get any lower than that. So these guys are fast enough, super fast, and and you know you get some good racing, good, you know, even in the middle of the field. I mean, you know, you got a lot of fast guys. You're only talking a, a tenth here, a tenth there, one little slip. I mean, and that's always not just the fastest lap either. I mean, it's definitely not the fastest lap. I mean, it's if you can consistently hit those times. And another guy might be a tenth or two faster, but then he's up and down. You're going to be – you're overall, you're going to be better. So that's really what I got to try to – really got to try to work on because, you know, like I had those mistakes near the end of the race, that cost me because that dropped me back a good amount. And then even though I caught back up to him, you know, I really wasn't able to give a real good fight to the Honda. So it's just – I just – 
hurt myself. So again, I needed to be more consistent. I need to, you know, work on that and not having those mental breakdowns and, and mistakes and at least not big ones. You know, I need to be, you know, 10th here or so is not bad. A couple tenths, but you know, you don't want those big half a second, you know, eight tenths of a second drop offs and not in this, when you get in these higher, uh, uh, you know, basically, uh, oh, what I just gone blank. Um, higher stint type like things, you're going to end up going, you know, losing so easy. You just one little uh, slip and you've lost five places. I mean, it's just, especially if you're all back, backed up. Uh, splits, I should say, splits. So let's see. But other than that, everything looks good. Um, I mean, you can see where uh, all this, you know, pulls, wins clean races um you know again this hasn't gone up to really i think the last time it was th still 33 so a lot of those i had from before and i and, and i got that's the number i want to try to keep the only one of the numbers i want to keep not going up <laughs> all the other ones i would like to keep you know working on and uh keep trying to get improve so again in the beginning it's really you almost, i almost have to take the attitude of I don't even care if I lose one or two positions you almost got to you, you got to just constantly look in your rearview mirror constantly look at the radar and just you're I'm being basically 100% defensive mode and if you're starting with all these cars around you like that because I'm just trying to dodge and I'm just trying not to hit anybody and I'm just even that was bad enough because I got four seconds damage which that guy lost it and I went around him and he swiped me, not his fault. We just, you know, I tried to get around him, but I barely touched him, and he, we, he swiped me, and that's where I got the damage, I think. So, again, it's just one of those things where, you know, you're you know, you're know just trying to uh, save the car and save from getting a big crash and all that kind of stuff. So, again, that was bad enough, but at least I, you know, pretty much avoided it. So, overall, good. Um, it was a, you know, fun race, good race, especially for uh, Kai Alami, who's not one of my, you know, strong – places so hopefully i can keep improving upon a weak track for me and maybe i can get down into the 40s that's where i need to be i need to at least be down into the 40s and um that way i can start you know fighting in the number one split like you know in the top half of the field or in the middle of the field. you know i guess at least not finish at the bottom so that's where i need to keep working on and just keep trying to improve and uh so let's go ahead and we'll now run back to the track and go over the setup. All right, back here at at uh, Kailami, and uh, here just I've been doing some laps, um, working on trying to find just a little bit better balance. Um, so let's go over the setup. Um. There's always options that you can do, and I'm, we're going to try to go over some different things, see if there's any other things that we can, you know, that you can do to make adjustments. Um, but the goal was, before we get started, if I should, I didn't want to show it because I'm trying to shorten the video, so I know we already did the uh, race and everything. But up on top of the hill there, where you go up the top of the hill and the hairpin, I mean, I was losing some time there compared to some other cars. And I watched the replay, and I noticed that my left front was locking up often so that hurts you because you know if it's locking up then what's going to happen is you're going to you know a lot of reasons you're going to run wide because you're not going to stop like you think you're going to and it's going to push you wide so i needed to get a little bit more and that's even you know uh you know when the car's got fuel on it and everything else so i mean or even fresher tires so i mean that's bad because as the car loses fuel it's even more weight's going to come off the front and probably get worse so basically I, I needed to get that to see at least that part get it you know improved upon so that's what i tried to do i tried to get a little bit more weight up on the front end of the car um and i did that mechanically uh and arrow both just just one click up and that way it gets a little bit more you know weight up on the nose of the car and one it'll help turn a little better and two it'll also keep that left front from locking up so and i checked it and my replays doing this and it wasn't locking up so hopefully i have that you know a lot better so let's go over again let's start to set up 
We got 25.8 on the left on the front tires and 26.2 left rear and 26 right rear. Uh, the toe's negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.8 and the caster at 11. And the toe on the rear is a positive 0 0.05 with the camber at negative 3.1. Um, all these, I tried more toe before, but you know this car reacts so fast, especially since I do have. Um, the rear end jacked up a little bit more than normal, so it reacts very fast. So I really don't need to help on turning. So I took some of that out, um, and I did not want the back end to kind of be sliding. So I took some of that toe out also for the positive toe. Uh, other than that, that's about it there. Electronics I got at three, three, and three. So again, you know, you can do your own as far as you want. A little bit more uh, in reserve, you can go four or five on the TC2. Um, and again, the same with the ABS. Now I could go, which, you know, I, I didn't want to do that, but you might want to do that. Maybe at the later end part of the stent, you can raise your ABS one click and it'd probably help that left front from locking up, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave everything the same. I, I was kind of wanting to leave that as a last resort type thing. So basically, um, basically just left all this is the same as the race. Of course, fuel is 55 liters, which in the race, I started at 50. So it's still a little more than what I started at. And then because what I did is I added 36. Um, and thank you, Joe Blow, because it was really good. I mean, it was like right to the right to it. So can't get much better than that. Normal wear. I got the wear pretty even all the way across. Um, it's almost dead even, actually. So um, not bad at all. Any roll bar is four. Pre uh, brake bias is 51. Steering is 13. Springs in the front are 127,000. With a bump stop rate of 500 and a bump stop range of 2. And on the rear, the springs are 187,000 with a bump stop rate of 800 and a bump stop range of 10. Any roll bar is 3 and the preload on the diff is 140. So uh, here I did change a few things. I kind of switched to any roll bars. I did have this at 3 and this at 4. Uh, but it, it, you know, the back end of the car was a little slidey, especially coming off the corner. And I, I, I didn't like that. So I tried it the other way, and it just felt a little bit more stable. So just keep that in mind. Um, of course, the brake bias, you can go down to 50 with no problem, even into the 49s. That's not an issue. Uh, springs. I tried a lot of different springs. I tried lighter in the front. Um, I, I tried heavier in the rear, one click up in the rear. Nothing that really... Um, or liked a lot. I mean, with the with the heavier, it seemed like the car slowed down a little bit in the back. So I basically I went back. So this is the exact same setup that I had in the race. So I just I really didn't see any big improvement. Now, if the track is a little slick, you might want to go down just one in the front. You might want to try that, or maybe if you want to get a little even more rotation. Um. You can try that also, depending upon your driving style. Let's say it doesn't rotate as much, because I drive a lot with the rear brake. I mean, I, I, you know, with the brake itself, I mean. I mean, I do a lot of, you know, if I'm in the corner, midway through the corner, I might just barely touch the brake to get the car to rotate if I needed to or something like that. So I use a modulation on the brake a lot to get the car to rotate. So if, But if you don't drive that way, you might rather have one uh, less click in the front, you know, one uh, less spring in the front. And that might help. That'll help it rotate just a little bit more. So again, you might want to just something to try um, if you don't, if you need just a little bit more front end bite. Um, other than that, everything else is the same. Um, let's see shocks. I did change on Motec. I did change this around some. So a few adjustments here and there. Got one one three two on the front and two one three two on the rear. So it did change these around a little bit. Um, again, it's one of those places, you know, you're going over these curbs and things like that. It's not the prettiest graph, but it's okay. And they're all right around 50. So again, it should be, you know, as far as the, uh, from a standard setup, it's still a way, way better. Uh, arrow got 55 in the front, 77 in the rear with a two splitter, a 10 wing and a three and a three in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a 1.7 to the positive. So, in the race, this is what I had in the race. There. So, I actually had 1.3 to the positive in the race. 
So I had no splitter in the front, and I had the right height was at 76. So again, with the, that front locking up and this and that, I needed to get more arrow up on the front. So even though that hairpin, you're not, you know, it's got a little, but I mean, especially in that fast right hander where that, you know, that dog leg to the right, that's where the arrow really would help through there, the car not running wide and all that. So I went one click at a time with this. And it, and it seemed to help and just keep the balance without going over steery. It seemed to help. So, again, I just want to be very careful with that because, you know, I don't want to get too much. And then what happens is the car gets over steery. Um, and, of course, then with the rear, I raised it also. And, again, that's to put more weight up on the, on the nose. So, if you don't, if it rotates too much for you, I would just take a click out of the splitter and try it or a click out of the right height in the rear i do the splitter first so i probably take one at least one out of that but i tried one click at a time and then went out and did you know three four laps and um i'm happy with the balance again you know in the beginning you, it's a little you know tires are cold not up to pressures you got to be a little bit uneasy that's with any car um you know again it's not that bad you can still be pretty aggressive compared to some cars but again you can't go you know just back it off a teeny bit and let the car work um but then as soon as the pressures come up and things like that you can get more aggressive but again i sure hope you enjoy the setup i will leave a link to this setup in the description like uh, all my setups and of course they're all free um i do have a paypal account and also in the description if you want to, anybody wants to uh support me that way which i really appreciate but uh, if you watch the video and like and subscribe, that's support too. So in whichever way you can, I just want to say thank you. And uh, I sure hope you enjoyed the race and you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.